Hey guys, and welcome back to Cutter Vlogs, where today I will be doing tribe number two and tribe number three. I know that I said I would be doing one tribe per vlog, but today I want to do the last two tribes so I can get it done before the Survivor's episode tonight. Two hour episode tonight. So, I want to get it done today so I can upload it, everybody can watch it, and then watch two hours of Survivor. So let's get started with tribe number two. First on my tribe is Colby. Now, Colby was a three-time survivor. He was the runner-up for the Outback. And he was also on All-Stars and Heroes vs. Villains. To add on uh, his uh, Australia Outback season, he should have won. Tina had no business winning that. Colby should have won all the way. But anyway, he didn't, so uh, he's just runner-up. Next on my list is Heidi. Heidi is now called Heidi Hamels because she is the wife of Philly's pitcher, Cole Hamels. That is why she's on my list, because otherwise she was pretty irrelevant. But anyway, she was fifth on Survivor of the Amazon. She is known for getting nude for peanut butter. She is known for being in the Cute Girl Alliance. And she is just known for being Cole Hamels' wife. She actually spoke at my brother's college graduation at Westchester University. So that was really cool. She spoke about her survivor experience. Cole Hamels was there in attendance. So that was really cool. I actually brought my survivor DVD in hopes that she would sign it, but I had no time to get it signed because I didn't get to meet her. Anyway, that was kind of disappointing. Next on my list is Rob. Rob was also in Survivor of the Amazon as well as All Stars. He was known as the Master Strategist. Yeah, the Master Strategist. He was He's a really smart survivor, uh, guy. He knows Survivor. Um, he was one of the first guys to... He was one of the first super fans to actually play Survivor. Let's put it that way. Next on my list is Stephanie LaGrosa. Now, she is the wife of former Phillies pitcher, who also won the 2008 World Series with Cole Hamels. She is married to Kyle Kendrick, who is so worse compared to Cole Hamels. But anyway, Stephanie was an awesome survivor. One of, she is one of my favorite women. She is my favorite woman survivor. Survivor female cast, however I want to put it. Yeah, she is one of my favorite of all time. Um, she was once the only person on her tribe. She was the runner-up of Guatemala. She was just... An amazing survivor. She won a lot of challenges. She was very tough. She was inspiring. And she also married uh, Kyle Kendrick. Which Kyle Kendrick definitely won on that one. Because I don't know why he married Kyle Kendrick. Anyway, that's a different story. Next on my list is Ozzy. Ozzy is a beast when it comes to challenges. Especially water challenges. He is he is this, he's like Aquaman. He's so fast in water. I don't even know if, what Aquaman is. But yeah, he is a beast in water challenges. He was the runner-up on Cook Islands, and um, he was also on two other seasons as well. He's just a great competitor, a beast. He's a monster. Let's just put it that way. He is a monster. Next on my list is Miranda. She was on two seasons of Survivor. Her highest placement was 6th out of 20th, but um, she, she just seemed really smart, and uh, she knew what she was doing. I feel like she, she was a good Survivor. <laughs> I don't know. Next is the first winner of Survivor history, Richard Hatch. Obviously, he's known for being the first winner of all time. He was on All-Stars as well. He's known for getting naked, biting a shark, and getting arrested for not reporting his million dollars and avoiding paying tax. So, if you ever win Survivor, pay your taxes. Next on my list is Natalie. Natalie won Season 29, Blood vs. Water Part 2. She was on with her twinny, Nadia, who got voted out first. But, um, Natalie got zero votes the entire time until the last Tribal Council where she won the game. Um, she's also, she was originally on The Amazing Race with her sister, where they placed fourth. Next is Coach. Coach Ben Wade, the Dragon Slayer. He was runner-up of South Pacific, along with making two other Survivor appearances. Last on my tribe is Jenna. Jenna is the winner of Survivor of the Amazon, as well as being on All-Stars, where unfortunately she had to quit because her mom was very sick and later died while Survivor was still being recorded. So that's very unfortunate, 
and I don't blame her. She is known for obviously winning Survivor of the Amazon, as well as getting new for peanut butter with Heidi, and as well as being on the Cute Girl Alliance. That wraps up this tribe. Stay tuned because the next tribe is right now. Okay guys, to wrap things up, we have our third tribe, which kind of is like the scrub team of my favorite guys, but um... I originally, would, like I said, was going to have 20, but then since it is season 30, I decided to add 10 more people. So these are people that were on, like, my, on the, um, on the outs of my original 20, but they're still really good survivors in my mind, and they deserve a spot on my list. Well, at least a spot on the 30th. Okay, but anyway, let's get to it. First up is Matteo. He was the runner-up of the Amazon and he was a bit of a psychopath, honestly. But, um, with every season, you need someone who's gonna stir up some stuff. And we, we already have some guys like that on my list, but I want a psychopath on my list, so I decided to go with Mateo. Next on my list is Sari. She was just, she was, like Jeff said, she's someone who got off the couch and just went and played Survivor. She was on three seasons of Survivor, recording a fourth place and a third place. Next is Malcolm. Malcolm was on back-to-back -back seasons of Survivor, where he finished 4th and 9th. He was a beast in challenges, and he also had some nice hair. Next is Eliza. Now, Eliza was on two seasons of Survivor. Her highest rank was 4th, but um, she was always someone who got picked on. And I think in Survivor, you need something like that. Someone who's always just going to be picked on, but still fight through it and manage to do just all right. Next is Bob. Bob was the oldest person to ever win Survivor. At the age of 57, he won Survivor Gabon. 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 I think that's right. Next is Nadia. Now, like I said earlier, I had Natalie on my list, so I had to have Nadia, just because I don't know if Natalie would do this without Nadia. So, if I want Natalie, I feel like I have to have Nadia. She was the first person to vote out of Blood vs. Water. She was, like I said, on with um, Natalie on The Amazing Race as well. Next is Fabio, also known as Judd. He was the winner of Nicaragua. He was just a goofy guy, nice set of hair also, and he got one survivor, so welcome to the list, Fabio. Next is Jeffra. Now, Jeffra finished seventh on Survivor Season 28. Bronze versus Brains versus Beauty. She was on the Beauty Tribe. Um, I honestly just thought she was really cute, so she, she made my list. Next, in the last male on my list, is the one and only Rupert. Now he is the reason why Rupert didn't make my top 10 guys. Because on his last season of Survivor, he was on Blood vs. Water, and he decided to take himself out of the game for his wife. And his wife was quite annoying on the show, so I really would have appreciated if Rupert stayed in the game and not her. Anyway, that was a nice act of kindness, considering he's already played three other times. Um... Rupert's known for his, the first, the first like five minutes he was on Survivor of Pearl Island, he stole the other tribe's shoes and sold them to natives for money and goods. So that's, that's a pretty awesome pirate move right there, pirate. He was also, Rupert, he was also good at um, fishing and providing for the tribe. He was just an all around beast. So, Rupert, welcome to the tribe. Last on my list, and the 15th woman to make my list is... Susan Hawk. She finished fourth, I think, on Survivor. The first, the first Survivor. Um, she was on two other, se uh, one other season, which was All Stars. The main reason I have her is because of her final speech at uh, Tribal Council. She tore into Richard and um, Kelly. She just tore them apart, called them rats and snakes, and said if they were uh, starving and they were. Um, Dehydrated, she would let the vultures eat them and wouldn't give them water. That was brutal. Anyway, I need that on my list. But anyway, that is all for my list. I hope you enjoyed it. There's probably some questionable people that you might not agree with. If you don't agree with them, tell me. And tell me who would be on your list. Thank you for watching. Enjoy tonight's two-hour survivor. And see you later.